Hello again and a very warm welcome to NTV at One. I'm Chris Higeni. Let's begin with the United Nations Agency on AIDS that has asked organizations and institutions that implement HIV AIDS programs to involve young people and vulnerable populations in the fight against the scourge if they want to have results in reducing the new infections. These remarks were made during the pre-international AIDS Day celebrations, events that were marked in Tungamo municipality yesterday and they were attended by the country director Director Jacqueline Makoka and the U.S. Deputy Chief of Mission and the Uganda AIDS Commission Director General Nelson Mosoba, among others. Let's have the details in the following report. We are saying 20, 20, 20, 2030, no more getting AIDS. The young people have come out and they are willing to take the leadership. I was privileged in the dialogue to be part of a group of boys and you can clearly see them demonstrating that uh, they will not step back. Some of them are already acting as peers, they are going out into the communities, they are spreading information, they have taken on the will to understand. And uh, young people, we are looking at you with lots of expectation. We can see that you are ready to take over, you shouldn't move back. Even as we celebrate, let's remember that we still have a lot of challenges. Uh, here today we heard about the data, particularly for in, 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 in infections in young people. I was very pleased to join the Honorable Member of Parliament uh, to listen to young people talk about HIV. And for me, it was stuck. The young girls who were part of DREAMS have received support, have been empowered were more, you know, uh, were more present, they spoke up, they were, they showed that they were empowered. As we celebrate World AIDS Day, let's celebrate the good news. We have some good news in the HIV response. We have really good science, we have very good uh, technology, which if taken we can prevent HIV uh, from occurring and we can keep people alive. We will continue to work closely with our civil society partners to identify and address stigma, discrimination, and violence that disproportionately impacts key populations. Since 2020, PEPFAR has provided, fun provided funding for community-led drop-in centers.